my name is uh, Freeman Thomas. I'm uh, Director of Design for North America Strategic Design, or all of Advanced Design for North America. Freeman, you've designed the Airstream and the Interceptor. Tell us a little bit about each. Well, um, uh, my team uh, designed uh, both of the vehicles. I have a very creative team out in uh, Southern California and also here in Dearborn. And uh, with, the, with these teams, we, we created basically two very different stories. And these, these stories really kind of reflect my alter ego. Uh, you know, with, with the Interceptor, the Interceptor is a bad boy car. You know, it's, it's, it's traditional American architecture. Um, it's got um, a Ford Camera V8 uh, from Ford Racing in the front with going up with over 400 horsepower. It's hooked up to a six-speed manual gearbox. It's rear-wheel drive. Um, the brakes are Ford GT brakes all the way around. Um, the shape of the, and design of the body, it's, it's basically got a, got a high shoulder, chopped roof. Uh, the roof design is a, is a classic hardtop sedan, which means that you actually see a separation between the roof and the rest of the body. Um, it's got um, uh, just surfacing that it's got a lot of restraint. It's like a clenched fist that's ready to release itself, but, but it's got that mystery of when. And uh, it uh, has the, the three-bar grill that we've been developing for or North American Ford brands, and it's done in a way that it's uh, out of uh, brushed aluminum. And it actually serves also as the, the, the bumper beams. Um, everywhere on the car, it has uh, what we call the squircle. It's a, what we call the square circle. And if you go back in time with Ford, it's prevalent all the way back through history, but really became dominant in the early 1960s with the advent of the, uh, uh, the Mustang, the Thunderbirds, the Broncos, the Ford trucks, and it's, um, it's really a, a, a Ford DNA trademark. So you'll see this, this element all through the car, the taillights, the headlights, um, the, if you go inside the car, it's got the squircles on the seats. The seats are inspired from the Ford GT with the ventilation holes, except instead of round ones, we have, have the squircle. Um, it also has squircle instruments. Um, the interior is made out of uh, actual belt leather, so it's end cut. And when you cut it on the end, it's actually caramel in, on the inside, caramel stitching. Um, the exterior color, we call it Bronson Blue. Uh, you know, a little bit of tribute to Charles Bronson and that kind of bad boy attitude. Uh, the interior we, we've called uh, Boss Black. Um, and we've got 22 inch wheels, polished wheels all the way around. Uh, short front overhang, long rear overhang. Um, it's a it's a performance sedan. Um, it's uh, it's it's a take no prisoners type of design. Um, it, it, the name Interceptor comes out of really from our police interceptors, um, and it and it's uh, it, it really says authority and it says uh, you know CIA, FBI, uh, mystery, uh, get out of my way. Uh, and you know it's 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 a car with attitude. And that's the Ford Interceptor. It, how close to production is this car? This is a purely, purely, purely a concept right now. So there's no discussion that we're having right now about production plans. But uh, so right now we're just gauging the response, you know, from from the public and the media. Uh, but what we're really happy about is that it seems to really resonate with everybody. Tell me one thing on this car that is not on any Ford that you would like to see start, uh, come on, on Fords? Well, uh, obviously it's, it's, it's a bold rear wheel drive car and it's the proportion. And the thing that we look at when developing a concept vehicle is really the architecture of the car. So the architecture of this car is what we would like to see in the future of Ford. Freeman Thomas, thank you very much. Thank you.